Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to do this real cheaply. It's put in shark tooth on a lanyard. This is a, a parachute cord you can get from Michaels. You, you can use uh, shoestrings, uh, leftover shoestrings, anything. I like using all black uh, because I don't like taking putting color on it. It takes away from this. If you make this orange, yellow, this, that, beads, people look at the necklace and not the tooth. So I, I like, uh, and you want to wear something uh, a light color, uh, it could be red, it could be white, uh, you know, just to reflect, this thing will pop out, all right, on these teeth. So remember, this is the front of the tooth, this is the back of the tooth, all right. So I'm going to show you how to do this with, a, this is out further, okay, the um, snaggle tooth is out further, or the me meco tooth, um, meco tooth, all right, is actually up further, so you can still mount this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back to little uh, little tiny videos, uh, walking you through. And I'm not going to show you me doing this, but uh, you can get an idea. Okay, take your wire, your tie straps, and straighten them out as much as you can. And then you're going to take about a half inch and rewind it from inside to out about three or four times. We're gripping it so much to when, when you turn this, it actually moves the rope itself. You don't want it to be free floating. Okay, another thing is... Uh, I, I want to put them on there, rolling it from the front to the back. If you bring it from the back out front, it will be too far back and the rope will be out front. So you want this to be in front. You can cross them then. It doesn't matter which way you cross them because what we're going to do is we're going to tie them together over here, like this one. All right, so cross them like this, and then we're going to tie it onto the, the tooth. Okay, now you want to actually put them on, on the ends and wrap them around two, two to three times. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, and then you're going to take another piece and wind it in the center to keep the torque, so they don't spread apart. Now, if you find that after you're done, it still falls out, you need to re-rig it, replay with it, and you could tie uh, another one in the back, going across, in the back. All right, but wear it around your house, do some jumping jacks or whatever it is, and see see if they're going to come off. And when you're comfortable, you can actually wear them out in public. All right, uh, so uh, that, that's how you'd mount by yourself with things you may have around the house. All right, that's why I collect these things, because they come in, in handy. All right, subscribe to see more.